What's up guys, Trey Anity back for another Bama Insider Player Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about linebacker Christian Harris, but before we get into that, hit the like button, give us a subscription, we're getting close to 50,000, you're going to want to be part of that club. It's as simple as hitting the like, giving us a subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about number 8, the 232 pound 6 foot 2 linebacker from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Same home down as standout linebacker Dylan Moses, of course. Harris attended University Lab School, where he was coached by Chad Mahaffey, and during his time there, Harris climbed to be ranked as the number 11 player in the state of Louisiana and the 16th ranked outside linebacker by Rivals.com. He was also selected to play in the All-American Bowl in San Antonio, Texas, and participated in the Rivals 100 five-star challenge. Now, during high school, he wasn't just a linebacker. Harris played wide receiver was a safety as well and returned kicks for University Labs back-to-back -back state championships in 2017 and 2018. He helped the Cubs reach 26 consecutive wins over his junior and senior seasons, leaving his impact on the city and University Lab prep school. Moses and Harris were good friends growing up in Baton Rouge, bonded together by Christian's older brother, Tyler Harris, who allowed Christian to see the ins and outs of the recruiting process from a very young age, Tyler was seven years older than Christian and he ended up getting recruited and, and going to Wake Forest University. But as Christian has talked about in the past, he used his older brother's recruiting experience to prepare him. And it did prepare him when his time came around as he got more attention than his brother even saw. Seven years later, he was asking coaches questions of his own. His mother Ramona was quoted as saying, he was always so aware. He could always see through people and can decipher when somebody is telling him the truth. His older brother Tyler also came out during the recruiting process and was quoted as saying, my whole thing with Christian was, don't let anybody play you. This is all about you. This is all for you. If you need advice, just let me know. But everything you do moving forward should be about you. Now, like I mentioned, at University Laboratory, you have a pretty close connection to Louisiana State University, being that their campus is right across the street from each other. And in Baton Rouge, there's an expectation for the top players at the community schools to stay home and play for the Tigers. And the pressure was there for Harris to join up with the Tigers in Baton Rouge until Pete Golden came along and fell in love with Christian's athleticism. And that's when he told University Lab defensive coordinator Andy Martin he envisioned Harris as a future first round pick in the NFL draft. Golding and Alabama gave Christian his offer that February. It was followed up by an offer from LSU. But according to Harris's older brother, Tyler, one of the turning points in his brother recruitment came when Nick Saban asked him a simple question. Why wouldn't you want to play at Alabama? It was a question that Harris couldn't answer and he decided to commit with the Crimson Tide and hit the road for Tuscaloosa where he got to work right away. When Christian Harris got to town, there was some hype around him, but he really earned a starting role in that linebacker group during the fall of 2019 Harris had a monster season. He was named to the freshman All-SEC squad by the league's coaches. He played in 13 games, including 12 starts, and led the SEC's freshman defenders in tackles for loss with 7.5 total tackles at 63 to rank 7th among first-year defenders in the SEC. Now Harris got out to a hot start. He forced two fumbles, returned them for a combined 37 yards. He had one of those forced and broke up a pass, which got him on the midseason freshman All-America watch list by the Football Writers Association of America midway through that season. Throughout the year, Harris was selected as a defensive player of the week by Alabama's coaches for his play against Western Carolina. In his first career game against the Duke Blue Devils, he was tied for second on the team in total tackles with six in his first collegiate game. He helped Alabama defensively in their win there and throughout the rest of the season. He had seven tackles against Old Miss. Tennessee, he led the Crimson Tide's defense in tackles. He had eight in that game, including one for loss, and played a key role in holding the Vols to just 231 yards of total offense. The very next game, he would tie for the team lead in total tackles as well against the Hogs, added his first fumble recovery of the season, and returned that fumble for 37 yards to set up a Crimson Tide touchdown on the very next play. It all led up to the finale in Orlando against Michigan, where he capped off his freshman season with a season-high nine tackles, including two for loss, and also broke up one pass in that Citrus Bowl. This past season, Harris earned the starting job at linebacker and ranked second on the defense with 79 total tackles, seven of those for loss, adding up to be a negative 31 yards, and he had four and a half sacks 
adding six quarterback pressures, two pass breakups, and an interception, a absolutely monster sophomore year for Christian Harris, which landed him as a semifinalist for the Buckus Award. Throughout the season, Harris earned Defensive Player of the Week honors for his play against Missouri, Tennessee, Mississippi State, Kentucky, and Auburn. Christian would set his career high against Texas A&M where he collected 10 tackles and had a few quarterback pressures in that game as well. He would match that number just three weeks later on the road at Tennessee. The following week, he would be named Defensive Player of the Week on Halloween night against Mississippi State. The week after that, it just kept getting better. He led the Crimson Tide in tackles. He had 11 that night, one sack, and helped limit the Wildcats to just 179 yards of total offense, including just 27 yards going into the second half. Now, Harris was a little bit nicked up in the conference title game against Florida, but he battled through it and put together an impressive performance. He had three tackles in that game. Two of those were sacks, and his second sack came on the final play of the night, taking down Kyle Trask in the backfield to run the clock out and send Alabama to the college football playoff yet again. In that playoff against Notre Dame, Harris picked off his first career pass, and he added five tackles in that Rose Bowl as well. Against Ohio State in the national championship game, he tied yet again for the team lead in tackles. He had six stops that night and helped the tide limit that high-powered OSU offense led by Justin Fields to just 24 points and only seven in the entire second half. Let's zoom out and look at Christian Harris's career totals here. He's played in 26 games. He started 13 each game last season. He's collected 142 total tackles, 81 solo, four and a half sacks, one interception, two fumble recoveries, and one forced fumble. What has made Christian Harris so dominant these last two years at Alabama? As we look at his scouting report here, the first thing I have to highlight, his overwhelming presence. If you watch an Alabama football game, most of the time you're gonna see number eight at some point on the play defensively. This dude just gets to everything. His positioning has been elite. He's found a way to maintain a balance of aggression and discipline to put himself in the right spot to make the play. Second thing I wanna talk about, his NFL ready tackling abilities. Christian Harris led the team in tackles more times than anybody this past season. And in his very first game, he tied the team total for tackles and has only gotten better since then. This dude knows how to tackle. There were some problems this past season and the year before that with certain defenders finishing plays. Christian Harris has not been one of those players. This dude attacks the ball carrier, shows discipline, and finishes the play right. The third thing I want to highlight, his lightning quick ability in the backfield. He had four and a half sacks last season, and a lot of that was created by his speed off the jump. Christian Harris is a hawk for creating energetic plays on defense, and getting to the backfield was where he made a lot of his money this past season, leading that Alabama defense in a lot of areas. The fourth thing, his ability to finish the play. We talked about that a little bit with the second point there. But even when it wasn't him making the tackle or initializing the tackle, you always saw Harris come in and finish the play or help gang tackle to stop the ball carrier. What is in store for Christian Harris this season? Harris will be continuing to start at that will linebacker position, and he was going to be backed up by Ale Kahu who entered the transfer portal last week, so we may see some others step into that will linebacker spot at times when Harris needs a break. And if you look at the rest of this linebacker room as well, Harris is one of two returning starters. The other, Christopher Allen returning at Sam linebacker. Jalen Moody will be starting for the first time as well, replacing Harris's Baton Rouge brother, Dylan Moses. But overall, you look at this linebacker group and you feel confident. Experience is coming back, and these are players that are determined to tackle better this season, and they're going to be led by number eight, Christian Harris. There's no doubt after this season, Harris will be ready to play in the NFL. He will probably enter the 2022 NFL Draft as a high prospect and potentially even be taken in the first round, depending on how this season goes. If you look at the defense as a whole right now, there's not too many guys you can point to as potential leaders in 2021. But Christian Harris, after this past season and an offseason of getting bigger and stronger, looks to be the sole leader come 2021. And he has good reason to believe that, being one of the oldest and most successful players this defense has seen in the last two seasons. Whether he's the leader or not, he will have a massive role on Alabama's defense in 2021 and will look to get drafted in the 2022 NFL Draft. This has been a player profile on linebacker number eight, Christian Harris. Before we get out of here, guys, hit that like button, subscribe. It means a ton to our entire staff and helps keep videos like this up. For more content, go to BamaInsider.com and check out the rest of our YouTube page for live shows, more player spotlights, and everything surrounding Alabama football. For BamaInsider.com, my name is Trey Yannity. 
This has been a player spotlight on number eight, Christian Harris.